Well, that is the ball of the summer right there. It's just about unhittable. Angling in at 145 k's and then goes like a big leg break. My number five top moments from the Ashes was actually another mistake by the English. It's Tom Curran's no ball to David Warner on 99. They're checking the front foot. Let's see. It's tight. It's tight. Oh. What? That is a no ball. You could see straight away that Davey just trying to tuck it in on the leg side, got a leading edge throw up in the air. And the drama that came with it was, you know, Davey collapses on his knees, throws his bat in the air, starts walking off the ground knowing he's just blown a chance to make an Ashes 100, and then all of a sudden he looks up on the big screen and sees that Curran's uh, foot's over the front line. Can you believe it? It's the recall, gets a single next ball, and then that, uh, that big run and leap that we're so accustomed to seeing from Davey Warner's uh, there. So if anything sort of summed up Engl England's Summer, it was probably that one, that one no ball that led to David Warner's 100. He's done it! There is nothing sweeter than a Boxing Day 100. And in the most dramatic circumstances, David Warner has won. Well, my fourth best moment from the Just Gone Ashes series was Mitchell Marsh's debut century at the Wacker. Um, once again, having spoken to his coach going into the series, I knew that his game was in pretty good shape, but I think what we all saw there was a young guy uh, with another opportunity making his mark. You know, he's had his ups and downs through his career as well. There's probably been some doubts from a lot of people about if he's going to be good enough to, to become a very good all-rounder at test level. But I think what we've all seen over the last uh, three or four weeks just highlights that Mitchell Marsh is a future star. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. A hundred in front of his family, in front of his home crowd, and his first in test match cricket. My third favourite moment from the Ashes was the two Marsh brothers getting uh, twin centuries at the SCG. Um, doesn't happen that often where you see two brothers out there together bringing up Test Match Hundreds and uh, to see the elation that they could share that day, it sort of set, had me sit back and think how nice it would be to share a moment like that with, with another family member. So I got to play with obviously with the two War brothers and I got to see them experience it a few times, but probably nothing quite as special as what the Marsh boys did in Sydney and then the captain's reaction on the back of that when there was a chance for a run out was pretty priceless as well. So. Um, but just a great moment in their careers and a great moment in this Gone Ashes series. And he brings it up. And there we have it. The brotherly power out there at the SCG. And they've got to remember to get in their crease. They're hugging before they finish the run. <laughs> get in your crease. <laughs> a great moment for the brothers. Marsh and Marsh. Well, my number two moment from the Ashes is Mitchell Stark's unplayable delivery to James Vince at the Wacker. Um, around the wicket, a ball that was sort of angling in towards his thigh pad, if not even going further down the leg side and missing his thigh pad maybe for, for four buys. Hits the crack, deviates past the outside edge at about 150 k's an hour and cannons into the middle and off stump. Oh, that's a beauty. Mitchell Stark right through him. Well, not much James Vince could have done about that. He might have just tried to hit it a fraction square, but that's an absolute peach. You know, you just don't see deliveries like that every day. I know the pitch had something to do with it, but um, you know, as far as moments go and memories go from an Ashes series, that's certainly one that will live with me for a long time. Now, angling in, look at it go. Oh, he's missed it by 10 centimetres and he's 55 not out. Now look at this, look at the angle. Where that ball's going down a fine leg. It's middle and off. Every time you look at it, it just gets better and better, that delivery. My number one moment for the Ashes actually is one that's probably not been talked about a lot, but it was Nathan Lyons' run out of James Vince in the first test at the Gabba. Take the single, got to go, he's out, he's out! What a throw! England were going well, they were on top in the game, everything looked pretty flat, the wicket was slow, there wasn't much happening, and there was a half chance that was created by Nathan Lyon at point, pick up uh, in one hand, throw the stumps down at the bowler's end and, and run, out, run out a set batsman at a crucial time, I think was something that was probably not looked at closely enough and highlighted enough on just how big an impact that had on the game. Yeah, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Nathan Lyons' run out of James Vince is my number one moment.